Yo, what's up guys, you're back with Technic and today we have a charging speed test between these five budget-friendly phones. They really are all budget-friendly, pretty much below 400 USD at the current moment, which is really awesome to see. First up, we have the Realme X2 Pro with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and a 50 watt SuperVOOC charging block. It's not that 65 watt block that we saw on the Oppo Reno Ace, though we actually get very similar speeds and times. Next up, we have the OnePlus 7T with a 3,800 milliamp hour battery and a 30 watt warp charger. This is not much better than Dash, though Dash used to be the best and now Warp is not the best amongst these other top dog phones, though we'll have to see here. Next up we have the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G, what a mouthful to say, with a 4,025 milliamp hour battery and 30 watt charging once again, just like the OnePlus 7T. Now we have the Realme X55 G with a 30 watt charger, just like the two before it, and a 4,200 milliamp hour battery, so the battery is slightly bigger. Guys, this is based on the range of the phone's battery wattage, not necessarily the battery size. And the K34G is the last phone we have here with 27 watts and a massive 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Like I said, all in terms of the wattage, these are all awesomely fast charging phones. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, so there is a lot to see on the screen right now, but first and foremost, at the bottom we have an interval timer. If you look at the iPhone on the right hand side, that just clocked out at five minutes and it is yellow highlighted at the bottom of five minutes. 23% on the X2 Pro, 12% on the OnePlus, 13% on the Oppo, 13% on the X50 and 8% on the K30. I've put on flight mode on all of these phones and I have also put on auto brightness. So things are really, really dim on these phones. It doesn't look it, but my studio lighting has is really bright. So the phones have really gone to default as a really low brightness over here. Um, so don't worry about any time trickling through the actual screens. It's just a lot easier for you to see and for me to see. At the top, you can obviously see the branding of the phones and then we also have the percentages. After just 20 minutes, we have 79% on the X2 Pro, 47% on the 7T, 48% on the Reno 3, 48 on the X50 and 34% on the K30. Remember the K30 is a much bigger bat, does have a much bigger battery. So it's kind of expected, especially with a lower wattage. After 25 minutes, 94% on the X2 Pro, almost about to go out where the others are only just passing halfway really incredible after just 28 minutes i round up the seconds over there to the closest minutes 28 minutes on the x2 pro and we also have the degrees of the battery we have 32.5 degrees celsius when it comes to the battery temperature when the phone clocked out at 100 percent at just 28 minutes guys that is even quicker than when i had the screens off in my last test just to let you know that there's barely any battery trickling through now we have uh, on the 40 minute mark, 86% on the OnePlus 70, 86 as well on the Reno, 88%. The X50 is actually going faster. Can you believe that with a bigger battery than the two on the left? And 59% on the K30. Guys, remember, I am looking at the interval percentages, not the percentages on the phones themselves. And now after just 48 minutes rounded down, because it was closer to the 48 minute mark, the Realme X50 with a bigger battery, 4,200 milliamps and 30 watt fast charging came out at 48 minutes, guys. That is not much slower than the X2 Pro for a bigger battery and a phone with almost half the wattage battery block. 35.3 degrees Celsius, much hotter than the X2 Pro though, just keep that in mind. Then another one from BBK Electronics, the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G, clocking out at 58 minutes, just 10 minutes after the X50, but a really low temperature of 28.8 degrees Celsius. Then the OnePlus 70, another one from BBK Electronics, clocking out at just one hour on the dot with not too hot, not too cold, 30.1 degrees Celsius. And now we are stuck with the Redmi K30 here with 82% after the hour and 10 or well, hour and 10 minute mark now 93 percent almost reaching that hour and 20 minute mark let's see how long it actually takes to get this guy gone here 95 percent it's sitting at 96 97 and it just keeps going 98 sorry for any screen wobble here guys we just moved into a new apartment in shanghai so it's a little bit of a, a wobbly situation at the moment but i will get it sorted in the next video and hitting that almost 100 percent mark just after an hour and 23 minutes to me it's still classified as fast charging it does have a much bigger battery at 4500 milliamps though we do have that coming in at one hour and 23 minutes for a full charge. 33.1 degrees Celsius. So the coolest phone here is the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G and then the OnePlus 70. I'm really impressed with those two when it comes to temps. So in fifth place, we have the Redmi K34G after an hour and 23 minutes. Though we have the slowest wattage of 27 watts and 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which is indeed the biggest battery. In fourth place, we have the OnePlus 70 in just one hour exactly, though you could probably get away with a minute 
quicker, so under an hour, 30 watt warp charging and a 3800 milliamp hour battery, the smallest battery of the bunch here. Third place we have the Oppo Reno 3 Pro 5G with, an, with 58 minutes over here, not that hour mark. 30 watt charging, 4025 milliamp hour battery, bigger than the OnePlus 7T. Second place we have the Realme X55G, 48 minutes, 30 watt charger and a 4200 milliamp hour battery, the second biggest block, the second biggest battery of this test. And in first place, of course, we have the Realme X2 Pro in just 28 minutes, under half an hour with that 50 watt charger and a 4000 milliamp hour battery. Not the biggest battery here, not the smallest, definitely the quickest time. If there were all 4000 milliamp hour batteries, guys, then the Realme would stay in first for 28 minutes. The Realme X50, 5G would get two minutes quicker, but stay in second place. The Oppo would stay the same with 58 minutes. The OnePlus would get slightly slower with an extra three minutes. And the Redmi would get 10 minutes quicker if it had a smaller battery. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this test as much as I did making it. And until next time, guys, this is Technic.